Alright guys, so I got a new multimeter. Right here. It is Harbor Freight brand or Centec brand. Digital multimeter. Uh just skim through this real quick. Uh, there's a lot of settings in this. Um I'll show you some. It's got voltage. Uh this is ohms, it can check capacitors, diodes, and it can do that's like it um, continually beeping, like no beep. There's, um, I want to say, what, nano amps, milliamps, and amps. Not sure. Um, yeah, but this is direct and direct and alternating current. Um, over here, it's got a whole bunch of more, more settings. Um, oh, sorry. Alright, so it has, I don't have anything plugged in, and it lights up. Can't really see it, but it has Hertz and Duty, which you can switch here. Um, it has Temp, and you can control Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it's reading OL for overload, but because it, it doesn't have anything plugged in, and it lights up whatever setting you put it on. It tells you it lights up which ones that you have to put it in. It's pretty cool. Uh, DB, it doesn't need anything, so nothing lights up. And you can tell when I talk. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah. Uh, luminance. Mm. You, it, you can do that by uh, shining, putting this at a light, this white spot. And then. This is for the temperature and humidity, and this is the microphone, and it shows, I'll put it back to temp, I'll plug it, the temp in for you, here's the probe for the temp, here's the little, uh, little probe, and like I said, it, it lights up, it, it's not really going up on camera, but this shines up orange, which one, it, which ones you have to use? It's telling me to use this too, and of course black is common. And then the light shuts off once it's in. You plug the red in there, and the light shuts off. And right now it's on Celsius, so I'll just switch it over to Fahrenheit. And it was just touching my arm, so it was 90. And I guess it shouldn't be going down. It's like 88 degrees out here. If I touch it to my arm, it should go up. Yeah. Um, metal's cold, maybe? It's pretty hot out uh, right now, South Florida. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, I got this because I'm going off to college, and, um, yeah, my dad has his a fluke, you know, I, I don't have the money right now for a fluke, those are, the nice ones are up, for, up to $200 or so, this one was 45 at Harbor Freight, so, you know, it's not their cheap little $5 ones, the probes are really nice, nice thick wire, and, uh, nice, nice, uh, probes there, not some cheap little ones. Take the tips off. I like these probes. Now, this thing, this thing feels a little cheap. Uh, feels like after a couple bends, it'll snap off. But yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. So pretty cool little. I want to know how accurate this uh, decibel meter is. 
because uh, I want to I want to put this like in my car um, to measure the stereo because it's pretty popular in uh, uh, like car stereo competitions with a term lab or something like that that tells the decibel level inside the car the subwoofers <coughs> so yeah it might like overload or something it probably says it in this manual I know there's a OL means overload so but yeah I think this is pretty cool because you can test like diodes and capacitors with this along with resistance it's beeping because it has the wrong test, load, test leads in it on ohms, take the caps off the probes, and if we touch them together it should say like 0 0.01 or 0 0.1, huh, see it reads uh, humidity and temperature even when I'm on another setting, pretty cool, oh, because I have it in the temp gauge. Red one's supposed to be in the volts and resistance. There we go. Ready? Yes. What? Should not be that high. There we go. Should no. Should be able to touch these, and they should just say like point. One or point zero one or something like that. Oh well, I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's the multimeter. Um, right there. See, it's a little big, a little bulky compared to my dad's fluke but it's alright yeah so $45 of course made in China uh, yeah my, my new multimeter probes Cats back on these probes. And that's about it. I can't do that one handed. <laughs> the manual is pretty in depth. It's got a 90 day warranty. But it tells you how to like measure um, frequencies. And it says you can go from like 0 to I don't know what it said, 26,000 or something. Maybe 260,000. Oh, there it was Hertz. Oh, yeah, see the de decibel range only goes up to 100. And, you know, car stereos, like, like people will measure like 130s, 140s, 150s. 160s, yeah, <laughs> but uh, temperature, you can go up to 104 degrees, from 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but it says, on main display, it can go up to 1800. 
on temperature display you can go up to 104 but the main display you go up to 1800 supposedly huh um, try to find Measuring frequency. I don't know. I'll go through this, but yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, more than a regular. I'm, not, I'm not really gonna need this stuff. It's more for fun, but you know, this stuff's kind of just fun. This is the stuff I really need, like volts and ohms. Volts and ohms are really the only things I'm probably gonna actually need. I'm not gonna be doing much house stuff. Mostly car, 12 volt applications, measuring uh, speaker coils and measuring voltages on the battery and stuff like that. Voltage drops, but the other stuff's just for fun. It's probably not. It's not very, not serious. Like, yeah. So that's my multimeter. Thanks for watching.